Hello. Hi. <laughs> this is Andy with Mountain Computers. Today is October, I don't know what day it is. Anyhow, it's a Friday, and it's been almost two months since I did a video that I'm going to post. But today, um, I got this laptop, and uh, well, let me show you what it is. Uh, it was donated, and it was broken, so I fixed it. So let me show you what this looks like. This is a, let's see here, this is a gateway, okay? It's a gateway NV, I don't know if you can see that, NV 55C. And uh, anyhow, moral of the story is, let me zoom in on this so you can see it. Anyhow, it was dead, but they gave me the wrong charger. And the charger they gave me was uh, the right voltage, but under voltage, under, under current, okay? So anyhow, I took the battery out, found a different charger. This one here is a Lighton. The one they gave me was a Toshiba. Still had the right voltage, but it had the wrong current. So more of the story was, is um, I found out what some of the RAM sticks were bad too. So let me see if you can see this. So anyhow, the RAM sticks were bad. This is what was in it. So what I did was, is I went ahead and took this apart. And this is the old hard drive. This is the old hard drive right there. It's a platter drive. So when I booted it up, it was Windows 7. And it was okay. It was a little slow. So I said, oh, I'll just put an SSD drive in and find some RAM. Let me find max RAM. So it had 3 gig of RAM in it. 3 gig of RAM. Let me see if I can pop this off. Yeah, there we go. It had 3 gig of RAM in it. So I had these, this RAM here. I had two fours, two max on this is this NV55C gateway is eight gig, it's two fours. So I actually had two fours of the same exact type in the back. Even though it looks like it's for Mac, it's not. You can see right here, this type of RAM, uh, it's actually really good RAM, not bad. Um, I got the same, same type, same make, same model, so it booted just fine. And then, of course, the drive that was here, I went ahead and put in an SSD drive. I put in a Western Digital Blue 1 terabyte. This was a 230 gig, 250 gig. Uh, it's like 250 or some change. So anyhow, swapped out the RAM, different RAM. And uh, so I'll just flip it over and show you what happened. I cloned the drive. Just used a, an easy clone tool to clone it. And when I did, let me back this up a little bit. Oops, back it up. Let's back this up a little. When I fired it up, it gave me this message. I went into the BIOS and reset it too, and it was fine. So I got this problem right here, the classic Windows failed to start boot manager. And I thought about it and I said, well, maybe I'll just go ahead and uh, you know, just wipe it out, start fresh. But then I thought, you know, there's a lot of stuff in here. So I had a trusty, you know, Windows 7. It's Windows 7 Home 64-bit, but I got a Pro uh, CD. This one here I just burned, just burned a quick one um, from an ISO image, an OEM ISO image. So I did that real quick. So I'm just going to do this, reboot it. I turned on the F12 menu. I turned on the F12 menu to uh, allow boot to a device. So I'll go to the OptiArc DVD instead of the Western Digital. Some people, I'll just move this around so you can see it. It's pretty easy to see. Again, this is Andy with Mountain Computers, the Go Green PC Tune-Up Guy. It's October, I don't even know what is the date, 20, 22nd actually. I'll go ahead and load this up real quick. Now that Windows start message, I actually tried to repair it without having to um, go through some other hoops, but that didn't work very well. So as you can see my reflection, that's me. I can get away from it if you don't, if you don't like it, but it's okay. So I'm going to try just a quick, simple um, repair. Like I said, I haven't done any videos that I can put out publicly in two months. So, the moral of the story is, um, 
I've done some internal training videos for some clients as well as some autobiography videos for myself for posterity and uh, I've asked some people for some help on some videography stuff to improve my videos but everybody's either too busy or they don't really have the right um, experience and tools to do what I'm looking for other than that though <clears throat> we'll just see if this works how I think it should work the first time now I know all the commands manually to do this so I'm just going to try this the old-fashioned way which says repair your computer see if it knows how to find it now mind you I already booted this once I did boot this once and it booted just fine hey good okay repair and restart Okay. If this works, it's going to be great. That would be cool. I'll leave the CD in there. It's not going to hurt anything. Wow. That worked. Well, that was easy. That's the way it's supposed to be. You could use a USB drive, too. A jump drive versus the CD. Yeah, Windows 7 Home Preview. Oh, it was doing updates. That's maybe why. I don't know. I told it not to do updates on shutdown, but it probably did anyhow. We'll see if this worked. Oh yeah. That seemed to be the seemed to be the trick. I don't know about you, but a lot of the videos that I have done, I'll back this up. Get this back into position. A lot of the videos that I have done in the uh past three years since 2018 a lot of the ones with the green screen didn't really um, go over too well that's okay I thought about taking them down or hiding them but um, why you know why do that so there it is there's your Windows computer Windows 7 that's cool and there's Microsoft Teams too <laughs> what a pain in the butt I disable all those startup things but um yeah, so the videos in the green screens, um, no, they didn't go over so well. But the ones that, that have like uh, really neat, you know, cooling features, uh, some of the ones like um, how to hire a business owner, that was sort of mixed review. I've had some other business owners and some hiring companies look at that. and You know, I, I think most of them are confused about um, <laughs> either they don't have enough experience um, in HR or enough experience with business owners let alone their own business owner the people they work for um, they're too far down the food chain to actually know what CEOs and what business owners really know and think it's not that we're smarter or, or um, more keen on things we're just more risk takers more and more entrepreneurial spirited now mind you some of the people who created the companies from the get-go aren't running the company now so the people that actually took over the company aren't the ones that um, were the innovators, the inventors, the pioneers. And that's okay. I've learned from a lot of companies I work with that people who are actually running the company now weren't the geniuses behind where they, how they started and where they are today. So when people take over the reins, we hope that they will continue to do well. Like even my business, Mountain Computers, it has changed four different times in 17 years, 15 years, 16 years, for better or worse, but we're still here, and we're looking for new digs, but yeah, I just wanted to show you this gateway, this NV55C laptop, clone the drive, change out the RAM, change out the drive, I mean the RAM, this RAM here, I thought was going to be expensive, this is DDR3-12800. Um, four gig. This is a two and a one. I put in two fours. Same manufacturer, same clocking, same everything. That was fine. I just grabbed myself a trusty, you know, Windows 7 Home or Pro 64 bit CD to repair after the clone. Usually clones work just fine. In this case, it didn't. But that's fine. And uh, it's an i3, uh, two point something gigahertz. Uh, it works great. And I'm going to use this as a uh, traveling laptop. I've, I've had a couple donated that were dead. And I replaced the screen, 
change out some parts, you know, get different chargers and stuff, and that works great. So anyhow, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. This is Andy from Mountain Computers. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.